We're rolling DEFCON, what's up? We're here with Ken Pyle, Notorious, <laughs> Notorious in IoT. Okay, here, give me a little bit about what's going on here at DEFCON and let's let's talk about some stories. Uh, yeah, so uh, I usually come to IoT Village, we bring a couple friends along and we do critical exploit stuff. So I'm a graduate professor of uh, cybersecurity at Chestnut Hill College, which is cool because two of the five ENIAC primary members came from there. But you, uh, so uh, I teach a lot of weaponization, a lot of advanced exploitation, a lot of living off the land stuff. So uh, every year I come to IoT Village and I'm like, hey man, like this is not hard. The wall to getting into this is actually really low. It's all about thinking and like understanding how stuff works. So one of the things I like to do is come out here and go, hey man, there might be all these complex attacks you're seeing and whatever, but really none of that's really necessary. It's all about lateral thinking and stuff. So mm. I'm a big proponent of like, Everybody should be able to get in. Everybody starts somewhere, right? Again, fuck the gatekeeping, and also <laughs> exactly. I love the idea of making use of resources that are around you, right? So, yeah. I mean, really being creative, that's the idea of creativity. Living off the land is supposed to be like the hardest thing to detect, and it's just knowing how a computer works, right? Like, I live on that every day. Tell me a little bit about um, some of the exploits or some of the things you've been concentrating on this year. Uh, this year, I've been. Uh, what I did was a couple friends and I actually obtained um, some wireless mesh devices, and then we RCE to turn it into a giant botnet slash DDoS cannon, exfiltration, C2, DD, uh, DNS recursion, flooding, you name it. It was basically owning layer two and owning layer three, which I, I'm known for hacking networks, infrastructure, critical infrastructure. It's like the most empty area of the network where no vendor wants you at, but it's where everything lives. So packet capturing or capturing layer two and layer three gives you access to everything. Absolutely. And it's actually stupidly easy to do. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, tell me about it. If, so when, when you, did you implement that here? And yes. Kind of, did you do a demo? How did that go? Uh, it went really well, but I don't build publicly distributable cyber weapons. So the tools are all there and it's a learn, living off the land exercise and if you put it together, you know exactly what you can do with it. Educational purposes only. And we're here to educate, correct? I am all about education and making sure everybody gets a seat at the table. Exactly. Because, you know, if we're able to sit here and point out these vulnerabilities, that's that's what helps us cover these vulnerabilities and make sure nobody's exploiting and we're able to do make create better security, correct? That's why yeah. we're all here today. I, I can honestly say you can look at it, I'm responsible for some of the biggest exploits of the last five years and they were stupidly easy to do. And like having to go through the process of the gatekeeping of just CVEs and vendors and P certs where you're like, I'm trying to come here and help you find a problem. Why aren't you working with me? Because you want me finding it, not some other person. It's really frustrating. Like I it's, it's a process that I am not a fan of because everybody, especially in our community, is supposed to be a good person, play with the cards on the table, but nobody else has to honor that. Like the rules exist until somebody decides they don't, which is great for hacking, but I hate it as a professional, right? Absolutely. I mean, especially if uh, you're sitting here finding those vulnerabilities and providing them as, yeah. you know, as a white hat, right? So I'm trying to stop global disasters. And the <laughs> only way you can do that sometimes is like, hey, man, I, uh, I'm going to tell everybody and I'm not doing this to screw you. I'm doing this to make sure everybody's fine. And you got to force their hand. You know, you said it like top five or some of the easiest that we could all do and using potentially common resources around us. Uh, what's that, what's just, I'm just curious, the top. Like, what, what's one of the one of the things we should be aware of, or a good example? Uh, what I'm known for is hacking the emergency alert system two years ago and coming to DEF CON and showing it and have the DOD FEMA come out and go, that guy actually did it. It was ridiculously easy. I actually had to turn myself into the FBI and sat on it for like four years. Oh boy. And the whole thing for me was nobody fixed it. And I finally said like, if nobody's fixing it, I'm keeping an eye on it. The only way to fix it is to disclose it. So uh, I, I, I went back to, to CISA and said, hey man, you know, you got to do this. Oh, they already reported it. Vendor didn't really report the one CV, or well, a couple of CVs, but one of them really big. So what I did was came here, showed it, and then about a week before DEF CON to prove that none of this was fixed, I bought Comcast's EAS device with their private SSH keys and everything else on it. Are you serious? Went to Comcast. I don't even tell you the whole story. The whole story takes an hour. It's the most unbelievable <laughs> disclosure story you've ever heard. But I went to Comcast and said, I got this. And uh, the guy who was responsible on the other end, a little freaked out, I know him through mutual contacts. And uh, they came out and said, this dude bought the keys to the emergency alert system that can affect nuclear response and a lot of other things oh in the United States God. take over all cable and TV, cable TV and radio and it was 150 bucks on eBay. <laughs> we're, we're
Were you wearing a Ronald Reagan mask when you? No, was? I came. I have no problem. I have yeah. no problem putting my face out in public. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm, no, I'm just kidding. I'm of that mind of like I'm a big enough target, well enough known that if I disappear, people are going to start asking questions. That's <laughs> fucking insane. Actually. Yeah, I was say if you ever want to sit down and talk about it, I could tell you the whole story. I got I sweated down in an FBI interview room, and I'm like, I'm coming in, handed them a USB drive, like this is what I found, all this stuff, and I sat on it because I thought things were getting done, and some of it was, some of it wasn't, but for me it was that global thing of like what did it to me was and i hate saying this because i'm not political but january 6 watching both sides of that going if somebody else could figure out what i could do i could start a war right now insane that, for me that was like that moral imperative of like do no harm like i like my job but i want to make sure nothing bad ever happens to anybody right make make you're making it aware to the people that need to be made aware so that things can be fixed again so uh, what, what ended up happening? Were they responsive at least at that point and things were, I guess, streamlined? Uh, were, did they did they actually go and fix yes. those vulnerabilities finally? It went on turbo mode takes? of, I mean, literally for me it was, I'm going to DEF CON, I'm going to tell the world. <laughs> yeah. And then they were finally like, oh, yeah, we're going to talk about that now. And I was like, and, and you know, honestly, I was asked by certain people not to talk about it. I was like... This train's out of the station, I'm not doing that. And the only way anything gets done is go out and do it yourself, yep. right? Yep, yep. That's that's what you gotta do. Absolutely, man. What, what else do you have next on the on the on on your projects right now? I mean, that's a pretty heavy one You right never there, ask right? a hacker their zero days. <laughs> 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 uh, what Fair I will enough. tell you is this, um, I have a pretty cool technique for staging massive DDoS hybrid uh, hybrid attacks through novel ideas that nobody ever thought about. I'm an old ass hacker. I've been literally hacking since I was six. I'm way up there in age relatively. Um, but I, uh, for me, it's everything old is new again. Like the stuff I was doing in the 80s and the 90s and what have you is still relevant today because everybody died. It's like Survivor. I'm the last guy left on the island from like the 80s, right? <laughs> so what we were doing at IoT Village was uh, we found some wireless access points. We hacked them up and uh, all the stuff that's on there, you can stage a ping of death flood. Uh, you can mix up protocols, flood stuff, own layer two and three. And it's literally somebody said like a capture the flag in the box. Like every, I literally can tell you this, if I was gonna write a book about web vulnerabilities and hacking, I would use only this device because it has absolutely every single problem from static nonces, IVs, bad encryption, RCE, no H. It's like, I literally went like, this is the worst thing I've ever I've seen in a long time. What do you need to build something like that? Like what 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 exactly like hardware wise there and is this being run? Nothing. I I, I you can come to the village and I will show okay. you how to do it with a web browser. What? With just a web wow. browser. Wow, wow, wow. Like wow. I, I go, hey, you can build an exploit, you can pop a reverse shell, but this is basically RC as a web app, and if you know how Linux works and you live off the land, you can do all this from your phone. Insane. And they're meshed ones, so you can actually domino the entire thing. And there's all these problems where you can basically take them all over at scale. Wow. Well, <laughs> look, I, I feel like... Sunday, tomorrow morning, I'll be doing it all over again with my friends. <laughs> I, I will definitely... I would really love to be there. Hopefully, we get to take... We've been working on this over here, but I would love to take a second and Dude, come listen to you talk. Everybody knows me says, like, you know, you can hit me 24-7, privately, publicly. I love sharing. I'm, I'm one of those people I'm, like, super fucking passionate about hacking and sharing it because I think it's an art, a craft, and, like, a love. And it's, like, for me, I don't get excited hacking stuff anymore. I get excited showing, excited showing people... Like, it's not hard, it's a way of thinking, it's a survival trait, and anybody can do it. All you got, everybody starts, just start, read a book. Like, I'm, 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 my, I'm a prolific reader, that's it. And I just want to learn everything. Uh, you, you, you really strike, I think, the heart of DEF CON in general, and the heart of open source, and the heart of the community, and support, and sharing, which is... I 100%. I, I think that's it, man. I love it, man. That's why we're at where Anytime, we're at. Anytime, man, man, absolutely. That's what talking like, about. Again, like... It's yeah. cool to come out here and be part of a community. Like, I, like the best part about DEF CON, I'll say this, I feel like when I come out here with my friends and whatever, I found my tribe. Like, I've always been one of those people that sits on the outside looking in. Or as a discloser and prolific researcher, like, you are the town leper. And it's cool to like, hey, man, we all got leprosy. Let's go hang out, right? <laughs> we share, like, swap stories and learn stuff from each other. I love that. It's what gets me going. It gets me out of the bed in the morning. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, that's no, no, no better of a purpose, my man. <laughs> Dude, I'm glad you're here. And, uh, Dude, we'll be seeing anytime, you at many man. more DEF CONs. There's no doubt. So I will be there next year. <laughs> let's party tonight. Let's party tonight. Absolutely. All right. All I'll right, see man. you there. Thank you, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's <laughs> do this. All right, man. <laughs>
Thank you very much. All right, then.